So thermal decomposition is also something that's been added to the chemistry side of the Keystone Street programme of study in science. Um, so the knowledge that when something is heated in air, it doesn't always combust, that sometimes it decomposes into uh, simpler parts. So one of the best examples of thermal decomposition is using copper carbonate or malachite as it starts with this bright green colour and the changes are easy to observe. So we begin by putting some copper carbonate into a test tube. Then we heat it in a hot flame over a Bunsen burner. And we should see relatively quickly that the green starts turning into black copper oxide and that it's moving around inside because carbon dioxide gas is also being given off. These are two things that signify a chemical change is happening as there's a colour change and a gas being produced. So what we're left with is black copper oxide powder. So we can see that there's been a colour change in the powder. Some of it remains a little bit green at the end, which hasn't decomposed. We could extend this further by adding carbon to the uh, copper oxide, and then we could obtain the actual copper metal from it itself. A smart way to teach thermal decomposition using copper carbonate and a Bunsen burner, linking to unit 10 of smart science.